reset this rose. Reality TV has radically altered the landscapes of celebrity, politics, and power. We have all the time and all of the resources to burn them all to the ground. It has made many people extremely rich. Reality stars have penetrated every corner of the entertainment industry, from the pop charts to Hollywood. Okay. All right, welcome to Hollywood. Without the casts of popular docu-soaps, the pages of gossip rags would be blank. Hey. Reality TV also restored the cultural capital and catalyzed the political rise of our 45th president, who brought the medium's guiding principles, conflict, chaos, and public humiliation. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. To the West Wing. Reality series aren't exactly well-respected or good for society, but they've conquered the culture and claimed their prize. Our attention. No way! Although the term reality TV is only a few decades old, examples of the genre emerged virtually in tandem with the advent of television. Candid Camera aired its first season in 1948 and has been revived several times since. An American Family, the culture-shaking 1973 PBS docuseries, anticipated the more frivolous docu-soaps of the present. The format as we know it, a composite of fly-on-the-wall scenes and cast members' one-on-one -on -one interviews with producers, selectively edited to create a coherent narrative with clearly defined characters, coalesced in 1992 with MTV's The Real World. What? When people stop being polite, could you get the phone? And start getting real. A second wave of docu-soaps surfaced in the mid-aughts, which manufactured glamour and drama in equal measure. I grew up in Laguna Beach, a small town with big drama. Around Y2K, the reality revolution remade broadcast primetime as a cohort of wildly popular, and lucrative competition series edged out scripted programming. Many of these shows are still airing. Cable channels have their share of enduring reality contests too. This is not RuPaul's best friend, no right? Sherlock. In the late 2000s and early 2010s, amid a renaissance in high quality scripted programming on cable, it looked as though the ascendance of paid platforms might lead to reality TV's extinction. Instead, the rise of streaming has intensified the race to create as much addictive populist content as possible, as quickly and cheaply as possible. This is a cake. Now, reality TV has a stronger financial foothold than ever. Oh my God! Reality TV has now hardened into an entertainment industry institution. And it isn't all bad. Along with the superstars that talent contests occasionally surface, and the prescient conversations that have taken place. Unscripted programs are often the first to bring poorly understood communities to the small screen. Sometimes it even gives those subjects the respect they deserve. I am transgender. We love her just the way she is. But taking reality TV seriously also means holding it accountable for its frequent awfulness. Reality shows have been found to exacerbate body anxiety, increase physical aggression, and mess with our expectations for romantic relationships. I am falling for you so hard. Shows are still edited to reinforce stereotypes, from the angry black person to the sassy gay man. Docu-soaps thrive on the notion that women are vain, petty gossips. You're fake, you're phony. That right there was unkind and dismissive. Conspicuous consumption is celebrated and obscene wealth is portrayed as an end in itself. I never feel guilty about being privileged. While practically every heterosexual dating show traffics in gender essentialism, reality romances featuring LGBTQ casts remain few and far between. Asian and Latinx Americans remain underrepresented. Recent attempts to compensate for this erasure have arguably hurt as much as they've helped. Here we are. So. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're fully off the grid, there's no isolating yourself from these shows' influence. And if we can't stop this pop culture juggernaut, then we've got to make the effort to understand what its most indelible seasons and storylines are communicating to us about who we should be, what we should believe, 
and once in a while, who will best embody our values in a political forum. Because reality TV may not be here to make friends, but it's most definitely here to stay. <laughs>